Radio YouTube. Good morning, YouTube. I'm at uh, Massey Myra, oh, whatever it is. And I'm full of the lurgy. And am I? Wondering about 8,000 feet. So, a bracket. Massa Verde, rather. Not Massa Mary, that's Africa. Dick. Well, YouTube, I've got my breath back now. So I'm at Massa Verde, and this is the highest point in Massa Verde, Massa Verde, and this is the fire lookout. But the views are something special. Miles and miles. So I am going to the rock dwellings today. I've got one book for today and one book for tomorrow. So I'm going to have a nosy at them and have a look over here. Kimber, they got one for you. I just, I just, what are we burning? What's, uh, you can barely see it where the plateau is there. And then there's a mountain, gray mountain. Well, right. Absolutely stunning. Well, that was fascinating. I've just had a word with a, a couple, a retired uh, couple that was both police. They retired earlier than me. Fantastic chatting. And I've got 50 hours down the road and I've already forgotten your name. I told you I would. Working shift work, you see. Right, so, love and chatting, and we might see you again somewhere else, by the way. Wow. Look at that view. 
well a view from your house which is down there that's really cool Quite big. Just wonder how they know this was here when you've got all this thousands of years. sticks hmm oh, the water table's high oh I think got a swimming pool Quite impressive. It's quite impressive. This is what the it was in Scotland. That's like the centre half. Stuff like that as well. The mummy house is there. Hope Tree House is there. Fire House is there. And Temple. So this is the Sun Temple.
because I'm ready to go. I was direct over there. So directly below me was the oak tree. Chubby. And I was over there, direct below me. Well, YouTube, I am just about to go on the Cliff Palace tour. Let's see if I survive. Going down from there. Getting back out again alive. <laughs> I've got to see some more rock dwellings over there. A lot of history. Okay, where we was? Not there, not too long ago. And then. Very cool. Beams for the floor, for the roof. Hopefully two more subscribers and they're there just walking up the steps and <laughs> turn around and I've already forgotten their name. Typical isn't it? Absolutely fabulous. And now, it's not all the black, that's what I was on about. Oh, rocking. 
inside. <laughs> so, so cool. I'm loving this. And I've actually got it all to myself. Isn't it cool? Really, really cool. Right, everybody's left me. I'm all on my own. Right, I shall see you later. So this is uh, Massa Verde and the Cliff Palace. Super cool. And I'm really glad I've come. Even though I've try and got to survive walking up the steps. In a bit. Time to go because I need a pee. And then the tramp's up there. Steady away. Because apparently there's three ladders. And it goes in between two massive rocks. Up here. And then up there. I'm going to put this away. I don't want to die. See you in a minute. Good morning, YouTube. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm coming down a cliff, then back up a cliff, and through a tunnel. It's not like heights, not like small spaces, but it's what I'm going to it. A rock cliff dwelling. What can possibly go wrong? Shit. That's what we came down. Cool. Steady, okay? And if you look if you look long enough you will see the drip of the water coming down. We have moss here, green moss, right? So it's, it's really amazing, this high desert to see moss like that, it's kind of what you see around rivers and... and <laughs> between the two. So it could easily be that the 
that first, that older section um, was built first, and then they built this one. Um, but um, you know, they then connected this old balcony. So that you know, the balcony is really the extension of the floor that's inside. Okay. So um, they collect those, those trees. They cut down those trees with those rocks that they have transformed into food. Right. Um, hard rocks that sometimes were traded. Right. Sometimes they would find down near the river uh, by the Nantes River, which is about five miles from here. Um, and then they would shape those into tools by using that sandstone again. Sandstone really sharpens, kind of like the way we sharpen our kitchen knives today, right? Um, so they would make those tools and now they can start chipping away each one of those blocks that you see, or those bricks. And these people did not want to stay indoors. They were really connecting with the landscape, so they stayed outside a lot. So all these dwellings that they kept building everywhere do they deter does it really determine the amount of people that live in each one of those places? Not really. I think it's more about storing. They needed places to store. They were farming. They were making pottery. They had, you know, suddenly there was so much they were storing that uh, they needed spaces like that. There must be an easier way to make a YouTube video when doing this. through that one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Those ledges to build So they didn't wall. make ladders back then? They made ladders but not to access, not that tall. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, the, and they actually, the ladders they were making, they actually, um, Any type of a really big wall. Well, YouTube, I survived. Shh, where are all these stupid things? Don't do that again. That's you, though. I won't lie. That was fucking terrifying. <laughs> Especially the scale of heights. Yeah. Focus one way, one rung at a time. My heart is pounding. 
but it was enjoyable. I'm dying a figure. So, on to Black Bear's Pass. See you in a bit. And then, some Germans I haven't met yet. Very cool. Well, I don't think I have. I might have. It does look familiar. 